So I've got some uh, PC boards here, uh, courtesy of PCBWay. I found a project um, online that somebody had done, and it sparked my interest. Um, it's a single board computer, a lot like the uh, Z80 thing that I did um, that was uh, designed by another guy, and I did an uh, 8085 board that was done by somebody else. And those are just fun projects. I haven't done a Z80 yet. Uh, there's one that I'm interested in, and maybe I'll do that one someday. But this one is a 68,000. In particular, it's a 68008. Um, and it, supposedly, it uh, is a single board computer that will run CPM 68K, uh, which I've never run before. So that would be very interesting. And it claims it can be a three chip solution. Uh, the processor, the RAM, and this weird PIC part. It's a PIC 18F. Let's see, PIC, PIC 18F47Q10. I'm not familiar with that part, but it's kind of all of the glue logic and everything. Um, they kind of lie a little bit, though, because then you say, well, where's the ROM? Uh, and the ROM comes off of... Um, an SD card, which is a little module that you buy off of eBay or someplace, and it plugs into here. And then there's a real-time clock that you can add that plugs into here. Uh, so um, anyway, it's all well documented. It was a Hackaday program and stuff. I'll put a link below for you guys to go check it out. Um, but I did get some boards, and uh, I didn't film it, but I've been having fun just off camera in the in the. Uh, in the garage here, uh, building it up and uh, come in a little bit on it, I guess. Uh, so yeah, the processor goes here and the pick goes here. Uh, I think this is enough RAM. It, ca it called that. I, I already had. So most of these parts, I think uh, almost all of these parts I had in my junk bin. Um, so I haven't had to buy anything yet. Oh, I did have to buy something. I had to buy these uh, resistor networks. I didn't have any 10K resistor networks that were long enough. And I had to buy these, and these were too long. <laughs> I needed an eight, uh, eight resistor SIP, and this is a nine resistor SIP, but, uh, SIP and I just snipped one uh, leg off. Um, but I even had a, a RAM chip, which is a 128K by eight RAM chip. And it called that out on the, uh, day, on the uh, bomb. So I think that's enough. It will take a, a 512K chip. Um, but I'm going to try to use this since I already own it. Um, I did buy some uh, 68008s. Um, so I can take one of those out, I guess. And pop, pop it in. Why not? Uh, need to bend the legs straight. And there's a few bent ones. Yeah, there's a few bent ones. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and see if we can get it started here. If you're careful with these, make sure that all of the lathes go into all of the holes. So when you push down, you're not just bending one, like right there, I can see that we're just bending one. So let me push these in. There we go. I think I'm ready for pressure. There we go. This goes in. So uh, I did have to order, I got these off of eBay pretty cheap. I did have to order this one off of DigiKey. Uh, it's the only one I could find somewhere. So and there was only two in stock, so I bought both of them. Uh, and uh, this is a Max 232 chip, but I think that's an option. So it has two different load options, the, the minimum number of chips and the maximum number of chips. Um, so not quite sure what that's all about quite yet. I just started, started loading, it, loading it up. Um, yeah, looks pretty nice. Uh, board was light, laid out by uh, KiCad. I think that's why you say that. Um, 
people have asked me what layout program I use. I use Eagle. Uh, I've tried to use CutCAD before and uh, found it a bit cumbersome. Uh, some people say, well, if you come from Eagle, then KiCad won't, won't be the same, but it still seems cumbersome to me. I mean, I've used, um, in the way back days, I used PADS, which is a, a mentor graphics uh, program, a super, super high-end program. And uh, I found it quite good. And when I went to Eagle, it seemed quite similar to PADS. Um, KiCad was just a bit clumsy to me. Um, but it does do the job. I mean, it does do everything you need it to do. I just didn't think it was uh, fast. Um, the tools weren't quite fast enough for me. Um, yeah, so let me uh, continue the build here. And uh, I think most of this project is going to be getting everything in software up and running. It seems to be well documented, but you need to program the pick. And you have to do that with some type of uh, ISP. And then um, you need to put programs on the SD card. I need to figure out, I think I had a card laying around. I might have to buy one of those. Um, it has a lot of LEDs. User power, halt, and IO operation. So I put different color LEDs, uh, LEDs over here. And it's got another LED up here, which is uh, the SD card. I think whenever you uh, access the SD card, it it lights up over here. So yeah, pretty cool. The little chips are just a uh, HCT11 and an HCT00 and another HCT00. So yeah, there you go.